Hi guys, this is Cody from TorontoMacTech.com with a quick tip for you today on how to export a movie from iPhoto and import it into iMovie. Now, iMovie has the feature for you to uh, basically edit with movie files that are in your iPhoto library, but sometimes it's actually easier to export the movies out of iPhoto to a particular folder and then edit them in iMovie using those exported files. So we'll go over those steps today. These are a lot of uh, quick little movie files that I have uh, in my iPhoto library. So let's just grab one of them. And in order to export it, you just need to click on the movie that you want. And then go File, Export. Now this is a little confusing because it gives us the option generally for pictures, which iPhoto is known for. So we just want to keep it in its original format because it's actually a movie file. And we click Export. It's going to ask us where we want to put it. I'm going to put it on the desktop right now and I'm just going to call it Rainbow because it's a movie about a rainbow. We'll click Export. It shouldn't take that long. So let's take a look and see if it's on the desktop. Rainbow.mov. So we should be able to open it. We now have it outside of our iPhoto library and ready to import into iMovie. So let's open up iMovie and get started. Okay guys, I just switched over to iMovie and we're going to now import that video clip that we exported from iPhoto. So we're going to go File, Import, Movies. I saved it on my desktop and it's called Rainbow. So here we go. And then basically it's going to ask us a few other questions. Where we want to save this project to. Uh, if you have more than one hard drive, you can select that here. Uh, whether we want to add to an existing event that we already have created. Um, or if we want to create a new event. And I'm going to create a new event and call it Rainbow Tutorial. You can choose whether you want to optimize your video or just leave it its original full size. And you can copy the files or move the files from its present location. I'm just going to choose to copy it so that way I will still have the existing movie clip on my desktop. And I click Import. This should just take a minute. It's going to have to generate the thumbnail so we can get the live time editing features. And then you might wonder, where did it go? Um, we created a new event and you think today is 2013, so it should be here but it actually creates the event based on the date of the movie. So this movie was actually taken in 2012, so it's actually under the 2012 calendar. So you'll see here that if we live scrub over the video that uh, we have our rainbow. Um, so if we want to put that into our new project, we can create a selection. When it's yellow, we can use the hand tool to drag down into our project library. And if we wanted to, we could export this movie um, and add different titles and effects, all the great things that iMovie now allows us to do. And that's basically it. That's how you import a movie from the iPhoto library into iMovie manually. Check back next week for another tip. Thanks a lot, guys.